to install a alternator charge kit on a Sprinter van. So we're going to do a 230 amp Sirix install today. Um, when you're doing these, the first step is going to be removing the key from the ignition. Once you've taken the key out of the ignition, just let the vehicle sit for 10 minutes. Um, I do 15 minutes just to be safe. And the reason for that is you want all of the electronics to power down so that we don't throw a code when we do our next step. So after that 15 minutes, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the engine battery so that none of the stuff we're working with is live and we don't throw a code. And to do that, you're going to come down here. Once you get under the steering wheel area, down here by the gas pedal, you'll see this. Uh, it's always going to be on this terminal, and that's your battery connection. So you're going to go ahead and pull this little tab and just pull this off. And you can see that I've already done mine, so I'm ready to go. And we're ready to go ahead and get into the fuse block, which I'll show you how to do next. Access the fuse block. The first thing we're going to do is remove this little panel right here. There's a little symbol of a battery on it. It's three screws. Most of the time they're star bits, so we're going to go ahead and remove those. That should come out pretty easily. Um, and once you've taken that panel out, this whole um, area here is a mat, which is pretty easy to pull out. So you're going to do that next. Okay guys, so I got the mat removed. Next step is going to be getting under this tray. So I'm going to remove these four screws, uh, which are also star bits. Alright, so I've taken off that black tray, exposing my engine battery, and you can see there's a red protective cap right here, which I'm going to pull off. These are easy to break, so Pull it carefully, but you can kind of get a feel. I usually pull from this side. I'll kind of pull my fingers under here, and it'll pop up pretty easily. Once you've done that, um, we're going to go ahead and take this nut off. It's a size uh, 13 millimeter socket to remove this. And once I take this off, I'll be able to pull this whole block up. So let's do that next. And we're going to pull this whole block out. Um, this part is kind of a lid that protects these, which you will need to get a flathead screwdriver, is what I usually use to work on this tab here. So this part can be a little troublesome to get off, but with a small flathead it shouldn't be a problem. So. Okay guys, so I got the fuse block out, I got the cap off of the block, so this is what I should see. So this one in here that's first in line that has this exposed copper, I'm going to take these two bolts off and I'm going to put a 200 amp MIDI fuse where this 150 was. So I got my two 200 amp MIDI fuses right here, I got the nuts right here. I'm going to remove this one with the exposed copper, upgrade it to a 200, and then I'm going to pick 
really any of these empty slots. I'm just going to pick this one and I'm going to put down a second 200 amp MIDI fuse. Alright guys, so I have my two new MIDI fuses in place. You want the MIDI fuse to be on bottom and the lugs sit on top. You don't want the lugs to be on bottom with the MIDI fuses on top. So, MIDI fuse first, then the lug. So, my main one is upgraded here. And as for the one that I made a home for, I routed that cable through this chase here. And most of these sprinters have this style of chase, but basically... If you look by the e-brake here, I pulled this mat up. There's a white plastic cap that kind of sits on top of this chase where all these wires go through. And I routed that wire in through here. And you will see it coming out of this big chase that most of these sprinters have. So I have that wire routed. It's sitting right here. This is going to go to the engine side of my Cirrix, which I'll show you in a moment. But, this is the other side of it, which I have lugged, and I'm going to go ahead and pair it with that new 200 amp fuse that it's kind of touching right now. Okay. okay, so to finish this concept up, this is my new charge line with a new 200 amp MIDI fuse. I routed this cable through this plastic chase and fished it through this cavity under the driver's seat of the sprinter and that line is going to go on the engine side of my 230 amp Cirrix.